Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you to another AutoCAD cooking class. In this session we're going to create a th simple 3D chair using simple geometry and basic uh, editing components. So first thing I want to do is go into my view and uh, viewports and new viewports. So again I want this to be 3D right and on this side here we'll just change that to southwest so we've got top front southwest and we say okay so i'm going to oh, this we should change that to conceptual yeah okay so in this area here we're going to start by doing a rectangle we could use the box but because uh, i'm going to actually change the shape of this the object it might be easier to start it with a rectangle starting at 0 comma 0 and the other corner is going to be 16 comma 15 so this chair is going to actually have the seats going to be tapered so the front end is 16 inches the back is going to be 14 so I'm going to <clears throat> stretch this corner I'm going to stretch that with ortho on so I'm going to stretch that in by one inch and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other one the other side just stretch that in by one inch and I also want to round the corners I'm going to use the half inch fillet on these so I'll just use the fillet command radius 0.5 half inch and in this case it's a polyline so if I just type P and click on it all the edges are changed at once. So that's cool. That's excellent. So now um, click into the front view here and I will extrude this clicking here enter and it's going to be 3 quarters thick 0.75 so now we have basically created the seat. So I'm going to draw myself uh, one of my legs so I can use the cylinder and I'm these legs are going to be one and a quarter diameter and they should be 17 and a quarter high so I'm just going to draw it at zero zero again because it's the easiest place to do things zero comma zero and the uh, if it's one and a quarter diameter it would be five eighths radius so Five slash eight enter and again I want the height to be 17 and a quarter 17.25 enter okay so that's pretty good <clears throat> now I want to these chair the uh, I want the I want to move this leg back one and a half 1.5 and then I also want to move it 1.5 in 1.5 and now I'm going to copy it and I'm going to copy it over 13 inches and I'm going to copy it back 12 inches and then I have to actually move them in one inch move this one in whoops move this one in one inch and that gives me the legs now um, I'm just going to go to my front view and I'll move this I'm going to move that up and that should move up 17 and a quarter as well 17.25 okay so this gives us the bottom part um, now what I can do is I want to create again the upper part of the chair so to do that I'm just going to draw a circle 
or a, actually a cylinder again. And this time I'm going to just use what we call point filters. So I'm just going to type in point x, y, enter, and then I hit the center of this one here. And then for the z, I'm just going to type in 18 inches. And we want the radius to be 5 eighths, and I want the height to be 18. Okay, that's really cool. And then I'm just going to copy previous, no, copy and I'm going to copy this over 11 inches. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. That's worked out not too bad at all. Um, I'm going to draw myself another, I want to do braces on the bottom here. So again, I'll just do another cylinder, and I'm going to do it from the center of this circle. And I want it to be half inch diameter, so the radius is 0.25. And I need it to be 13 inches high. And that's really cool, so I'll just hit uh, enter to repeat it again. And I'm going to do another, another one in the center of here. And the radius is the same. This one's going to be 11, and enter, and that's cool, and then I'm going to do, I'll do another one over here, you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a minute, so cylinder, the center of here, and same radius is the same, and this one I want to be 12 inches high. So you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a minute. So I go 12, enter, and I'm fine. So I'm over here now. I can see I'm having a, I've got lots of stuff in here. So I'm just going to do my rotate and select objects. I know that I have one of my legs here. So I'm going to rotate it from the center, which is here. And it's going to be minus 90 that's cool so I'm just going to move this up six inches just because it's going to get hard because now I'm going to do rotate this guy again from the center here minus 90 this gets moved up it also goes up six inches and now I'm going to change from my front to my right view. So in my right view, I'm going to, okay, I have to be careful here. I'm going to rotate and I'm going to rotate this guy, but I've actually selected two. So I'm going to hold down shift and I know that there's one right in that area. So I'll just remove that enter and then I'm going to my base point is going to be the center of the bottom here and this is also going to be minus 90 and I can move this up six inches as well and so now I'm going to go to my top view and I know that this is 13 from here to here. I'd like to have a 9 inch spacing, so that leaves me 4. So that means I need to move this over 2. And then I'm going to copy this one over 9. So uh, if we come over here, we can just do a bit of orbit. And we can see that things are actually looking pretty cool. Everything's looking good here. So um, what I need to do now is I need to put um, a backrest in here. So I'm going to do this with a polyline. So this is kind of cool. We're just going to use a 2D polyline, but this will work really well. So if I just click on my polyline, and I'm just going to draw it from the center of here. 
and I want it to be I'm just gonna go shift at three angle 30 then I'm going to come across here and I'm going to just do direct entry 5.75 and then I'm just going to go to the center of this circle here so now all I have to do is click on this and in my properties bring my properties over here I'm going to change the thickness to 2.5 and I'm going to change the width which I think I have to go into P edit so I'll just go P edit select my polyline W 0.5 enter okay so you can see that my polyline is here I'm going to just um, in the, this view here we're still in the right view I'm just going to move move my polyline up and I need to move my polyline up two feet 24 inches I think that's right and I'm just going to copy this copy it up by four inches and then eight inches and I can change this back to my front view this is my top view and this is my isometric view which I'm going to put in perspective view and there's my chair so I hope that works for you um, we'll see you next class have lots of fun bye